What's good, y'all? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, shout out to the homie Pop Rich. He uh, sent me a uh, Instagram reel from Adam Pierce official uh, Instagram page. There's a post where apparently you can call this number, this uh, number he put on the Instagram post, allegedly giving your complaints about how he runs Monday Night Raw. So we're gonna check this out. We're gonna check how real this is, and I may. Not even May. I am going to give a call because I have some concerns that Adam Pierce need to, uh, I guess you can say, check out and, and really look into because there's been a lot of chaos on Monday Night Raw. Granted, I love it. But at the same time, somebody needs to be there to, you know, kind of control some things. So let's see exactly what this post uh, specifically says. This should be a good one. Appreciate all love sports. Shout out to you, Pop Rich. Let's get into this one, man. I uh, hope you're having a great weekend. Adam Pierce here on the road, but coming to you with a very exciting piece of information. Many of you over months, years really, have had any number of complaints, mm -hmm. be that about matches you didn't get that you wanted, or mm -hmm. referees that have made bad calls. Heaven forbid my agents get there late to break up a fight. All the time. Maybe you just have a general complaint against a superstar. Well, I am proud to announce that you can now have your voice heard. That's All right, right. My what? official complaint line is live and available okay. where you can call and leave a VM for the GM. If you have any number of complaints, want your voice heard, have a suggestion, have anything you want, give me a call. 248-434-5508. Once again, that's 248-434-5508. Leave a VM for the GM. All right. I think this is a troll. Obviously, if you look at the hashtags, it says Rick Roll, but we're going to give it a call anyway, just because, you know, we're good sports about it. It's most likely going to definitely be a troll. He has Rick Roll in the, uh, as one of the hashtags. So that's how you know there's a good chance. So it's 248. We're doing this live. 434 5508. And let's see what happens when we call this number. I'm going to put it on speakerphone so y'all can hear it. Yep. Figured. It's a Rick Roll. As soon as I played it, it was a Rick Roll. But I'm still going to give my complaints. <laughs> Fuck that. You ain't getting away from these, Adam Pierce. Somebody send this clip. Send this clip to Adam Pierce on Twitter. We got to talk. Now, look, I get it. Being a GM is very tough. I, I understand. I can only imagine how tough it is to manage the roster, make sure the show goes smoothly. But a lot of people right now on the roster, they're trying to crash out. There's a lot of beefs that are going on that have been brewing for some time now, and people are ready to crash out. Some people are trying to make a name for themselves by crashing out, a.k.a. Bronson Reed. But guess what? I don't think that Bronson Reed situation happens if the manager, the active GM, and Adam Pierce does his job and, and helps Bronson Reed get some good competition. You kind of just let him sit out there and say, hey, figure it out. So he figured it out by destroying Seth Rollins. Then he figured it out some more by destroying our truth People love our truth People love Seth Rollins. And not only are you incompetent at making sure that the people are safe, you sat up there and let the referees and the security and the backstage officials let this man Bronson Reed squashed them over and over and over without even trying to get them to move out the way. They don't respect you. They don't respect you, Adam. My man looked you in the face last Monday Night Raw, went back out there and still splash our truth. He didn't care. What happened with Braun Breaker? Braun Breaker was breaking people in half because he wasn't in the King of the Ring tournament, which he should have been. And because of that, he was destroying people left and right. He sent Ricochet to the Gulags. Put him straight through a windshield under your watch. Now, once again, is it entertaining? Fucking of course. But at the same time, these are human beings. You got to do better. Now, is there some chaos on SmackDown? Here and there, you know. Nick Aldis don't play that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I ain't trying to put y'all against each other. I'm just saying, I don't know if Monday Night Raw would be this chaotic if Nick Aldis was in charge. But that's neither here nor there. I think you have the potential to really be a good GM. 
but people just keep running you over because you let them do better, Adam Pierce. You would want some security and officials to make sure you good if Bronson Reed decided to attack you. And let's not forget what happened with Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre almost put you to sleep. So all I'm saying is, you got to do better. You got to make sure your referees and officials get in these segments quicker. What the hell they be doing in catering? Just eating up, drinking, talking, having a grand old time while somebody's getting packed up. Once again, still entertaining as fuck. But they getting packed up while all the security and referees are just, oh, yeah, we're having a great time. They're probably talking to you. All I'm saying is, Adam Pierce, man, come on. You know what you got to do. You know what needs to be done. Make sure the referees and security out there are at their best. And also stop letting these wrestlers run over you. Let them know they work for you, essentially. Okay? And if you get packed up in the process, hey, you can always suspend somebody. You can always fire them. You are the boss. So that's my message to you since you Rick Road everybody. Do better. Or maybe Nick Alder should run Raw and SmackDown. What y'all think? I'm just fucking around, man. This is all jokes. <laughs> I don't take this seriously. Please don't take this seriously. You can't send them the clip, though, just as a joke. But please do not take this seriously. It's all jokes. I actually love the chaos on Monday Night Raw. I wish SmackDown had a little bit more, but I'm okay with the chaos they've been doing. It's crash out season. Nobody gives a fuck about authority, nor should they. It's crash out season. People need to be crashing out on Monday Night Raw. And I'm filming this before this episode of Monday Night Raw this week. So hopefully we get some more crash outs. But uh, hey, this is a dope video. Uh, video. Shout out to you, Pop Rich, for sending this to me. Uh, this is definitely funny. Just something, something quirky to do, man. But hey, man, comment down below. Let me know. I want to get y'all opinions as well. What would y'all say to Adam Pierce to make the show much better? Do you have any criticism? Do you have anything that you would think adam pierce needs to hear to make the show that much better comment them down below let me know but i appreciate all the love support y'all shown on the channel road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking it with me see you next one peace